Three children were among those injured. Thankfully, none of the injuries appears to be life threatening. But the big question this morning is the cause. Was it the gusty wind or was it mechanical problems? This morning, two state investigators are on the scene to try and figure out what sent those skiers crashing down. The slopes turned into a triage center. Everyone just fell down. I just held on, so I saw my mom, but somehow my mom slipped through underneath the bar. The mountainside cluttered with fallen skiers who just plummeted through the air. My white daughter and I uh, immediately went down to start helping out, get chairs off from people. High above 150 more skiers stranded on the crippled lift for more than an hour, waiting to be rescued. The broken lift wires dangling overhead. A pulley system eventually brought them to safety. We looked down and there were some skiers who were skiing down and they saw the chair bounce too. And they stopped and they looked up the hill and they all, were all going, oh my God, oh my God. It was pretty scary because <laughs> we didn't want, I mean, we were up there for a really long time, so we didn't want anything else to happen. It was about 1030 Tuesday morning when the Spillway East chairlift broke. The rope derailed from the tower, sending five chairs crashing 30 feet to the ground. Witnesses say a worker appeared to be in the middle of repairing the lift tower at the time of the accident. We asked a resort spokesman about that. There was a worker on the pole at the time, is that right? You know, I, I can't confirm that. Um, I, I do not know. Investigators are also looking at wind as a possible cause. There were 40 mile an hour gusts at the time. In fact, the lift had been closed earlier in the day due to high winds, but reopened just a half hour before the accident. The resort had in fact admitted in the past that that lift was vulnerable to wind and they wanted to replace it. It was their first priority under a new improvement plan. In fact, they'd hoped to replace the 35-year-old lift at the end of this season.